says it was a decision made in the state of Texas, but we will feel the effects right here in Western New York. A federal judge there blocking the Federal Trade Commission's ban on non-compete clauses. It was set to take effect September 4th. Joining us here tonight for insight on the impact of this ruling is Eric Kramer, a partner at Colligan Law. Thanks so much for coming in. Um, this is a very significant ruling. We got a lot of reaction once the judge made this decision. Sure. Let me start, though, for people who are watching. Why should anyone care about what non-compete clauses are? Well, uh, a non-compete clause is a way that you know businesses try to protect their special sauce, for yeah. lack of a better term. <laughs> uh, and it is a way to keep um, employees from taking what they've learned at your business and bringing it to a competitor to um, you know, potentially compete against you. So the FTC here um, came out with a rule, right? Correct. That, that basically would ban these or yes. put, in, put in place a system to do that. Um, and uh, the, the federal judge said what? The federal judge said that um, their blanket ban on non-competes for employees across the country uh, was too broad. And you know, typically on the state level, I know at least in New York, I've litigated a number of these, and they're decided on a case case by case basis. And I think that this ruling, uh, as a result of a case brought by the Chamber of Commerce um, against the FTC, is essentially saying just that the agency has overstepped here with um, an overbroad rule that would apply all across the country. And you are not um, optimistic for people who might be supporters of this ban on non-compete clauses. You're not really optimistic that this is going to, to be reversed on appeal. No. Uh, if, if the FTC does decide to appeal, and it, it, it seems likely that they would, they would be going to the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, which is um, one of the most pro-business circuits out there. So their chances there are not great. Um, and then from there, their recourse would be to go to the Supreme Court, which um, after overturning Chevron, I don't think it's likely that they're going to find broad agency action to be uh, you know, in line with their most recent decisions. There isn't a ton of polling on this issue, but what is out there? We know that generally workers support a ban on non-compete clauses, sure. and we know that employers tend to like non-compete clauses, right? Because the employer is protecting their interests, the business owner, the employees are, are, tend to be on the other side of that. Um, so what do you think becomes the, the impact of this? Because obviously there are efforts at the state level here in New York and in other places to do this there. Is that where this goes now? Yeah, uh, it, it is essentially a return to the states. And here in New York, um, when someone has a uh, non-compete, you know, there are all sorts of um, ca case law imposed um, barriers on, on those non-competes uh, where, you know, if it's not limited in scope or time or if it's uh, an employee who really didn't learn your secret sauce while they were working there or it's not that secret, mm -hmm. you know, there are all sorts of factors that courts take into account um, in deciding whether or not these non-competes are enforceable. I should also point out um, the industry in which I work um, actually is exempt from non-compete clauses in the state of New York. That dates back a long time. And supporters of the proposed law here say, you know, we should take what is in place for the broadcasting industry and apply it to all. Right. And, and you know, there are certainly meritorious arguments on both sides. You know, we mm -hmm. want people to move on to bigger and better jobs and make more money. And the government has an interest in them paying more taxes uh, once they make that more money. So. There, is, there are certainly arguments uh, going both ways, but here um, it, was a, it was going to be an FTC rule taking effect next mo early next month that would just be a blanket ban on these types of non-competes, and uh, the judge in the Northern District of Texas decided it was too broad. And that is what is uh, so significant here. This ban scheduled to go into effect very soon uh, will not happen. Um, Eric, thank you so much for coming in and helping Absolutely. us understand this. It's good to see you. Good to see you as well.